Hello Leo. Welcome to the channel. This is Esnoitsche here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading. And I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you're connecting with on a romantic level. What it is that they're feeling and thinking towards you currently. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. So some of you may have been in a relationship with this person. It could be a situationship. It could also be simply that you have exchanged glances on many occasions and you know there's something special there, but no one's speaking up. And for those of you who are new, my method of reading is just slightly different. I do channel through my higher intuitive self to receive and get the answers that I need. I don't channel through any spirit guides. I never have because I don't need to. I have the ability of doing that on my own. And at the end of this reading, I do channel Archangels Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel to provide you with some advice based on what comes out today. Lots of pleasure, lots of lustful feelings. Oh boy, crossroads. Somebody is making a decision or you have been waiting for a very long time for someone to make a decision. It almost appears as if it's time for someone to do that because you've been waiting for a while. All right. Let's have a look here. So we have here beauty followed by compassion. And we have sex, sex, sex. Oh my God. <laughs> sexuality. I was going to say sensuality, but no, it's sexuality. Um, play. Then we have embracing the shadow, mothering, surrender doubt and then we have crossroads yeah this person's energy they get very nervous around you um their palms get sweaty i'm getting their legs get a bit shaky they get a bit nervous oh that was weird okay they also feel that there's a lot of pleasure with you this is my pleasure card play that's also a friendship card i'm going to express to you what it is that your person of interest is feeling towards you currently it's quite a bit. My dear Leo, I see in you someone who looks at the world in a very different way. The world is a brighter place, a happier place to me, it seems, when you're in it. When you're around me, I love the way you are with nature. And I also love the way you have this ability of showing me who I truly am. You bring out certain things in me that I didn't even know existed. I also feel that in this connection, there's this sense of understanding where I see you for who you really are not only on the outside, but on the inside as well. Your talent, your beauty, your charm, your charisma. I do feel that in this connection, a lot has happened. And I now see you in a different light altogether. I do feel compassion for you and empathy sometimes even sympathy because the world has taken advantage of you and to some degree I have also had those thoughts and I have taken advantage of you intimately, physically, materialistically what I did was not decent but it's hard for me not to think about you in that way 
You are so very sexy. I can't stop thinking about you. Your body wanting to be with you, yearning for you. Do I fantasize about you? Yes, I do. And you don't even know how gorgeous you are. I want to be your friend. And I do like what we have right now, this friendship. This energy that we share, it is mutual. There's a sense of fun, mischievousness, vibrance, being young again, feeling alive again. These are the things I feel when I think about you. But a part of me you may have felt was very awkward, very impulsive, compulsive, and aggressive. And because of that now, the environment is very uncomfortable. Everything has turned into a bubble of awkwardness. And so it's hard for me to reach out to you. It's hard for me to talk to you. I feel different. I don't feel the same. What I do sense in this connection is that there are so many things that have happened in my life. Things have turned me into a very dark person on the inside. There are things about me that you really don't want to know. And there are things that I really don't want you to know. But it's hard because it's a part of who I am. I am who I am and it's not possible for me to change my ways for anyone. Because this defines me. I do feel that in this connection there's a sense of mothering. This feeling that I get from you, this nurturing quality. These feelings are amazing. They are beautiful. There's a sense of nurturing, caring, and protecting. I feel this, and I believe this, when I see you. I know this, when I see you. I do feel that there is a sense of surrender. I have surrendered my heart, my mind, my body to you. And I see now that there's this feeling inside where I feel as though I belong to you and you belong to me. These are the feelings I have. Right now, there is a sense of doubt. Doubt that things may not work out in this connection the way that I hope them to. There are certain things that I have said and done. They've not been the best. And for me, even though I want you passionately, and you are someone who I consider my confidant, my best friend, I just doubt that certain things may work out because the way I've treated you and the way I've made things very awkward now. There's this lack of knowingness. It's like we're strangers. I feel as if I don't know you anymore. I also feel right now that I am at a crossroads. It's important for me to make a decision to move forward, to make that choice that needs to be made. But I'm not making one right now. The main reason being, I am still quite confused about this connection, about the situation. Hopefully, someday soon, you and I will overcome this awkwardness. I will be able to make that decision 
and speak to you the way that I have wanted to this entire time. That'll be the time when I'll make my choice. All right, Leo, lots of feelings here. I have to say though, they are light and fluffy feelings, light and fluffy. So it's not very deep. This person has a huge, huge crush on you. This is a general love reading. It's not going to resonate for everybody. Is there attraction? Yes, there is. Does this person want to get to know you more? Yes. Do they think you're gorgeous? Absolutely. Are they your friend? Do they want to be your best friend? Yes. Do they want to follow your lead? At this point, yeah, they do. Are they ready to make a decision, though? Make a choice or make a move forward? No, not yet, Leo. It seems like that. And there's a reason for that, because things are very awkward and uncomfortable between the both of you. So first, this has to be settled, that sense of awkwardness, that elephant in the room type situation. There's something there that needs to be discussed before one can move forward in this connection. For some of you, these two cards may indicate that this is a, it, or it could have been a hookup. It could have been a friends with benefits connection or even a casual type of connection because this is my lustful card and this is my friendship card. So lust with friends is typically friends with benefits connection and there's nothing beyond that because we did not have love in this um, in this reading right now we did not have feelings and emotions either we do have mothering though so that's a, a nice one that's very unconditional love that comes from you that this person recognizes it could also be that some of you someone out there may have become pregnant um, and it is such an overwhelming and difficult situation for whoever's involved that somebody here is keeping their distance because things are awkward now. And the mothering card can also talk about someone being pregnant or even wanting to be pregnant, but there's a sense of awkwardness around that and that's why this person's making the decision. Do I want to settle down? Do I want to have growth? Or do I want to have prosperity with this particular individual? That's also why this person's keeping their distance right now. So they are clearly not ready because if they were, then they would have said something, done something. Okay. Did not have to shuffle that much. Oh my God. Fertility. Damn, I'm good. <laughs> Fertility. I was just talking about someone being pregnant. Ooh. This reading just got a whole lot more, what do you call it, targeted, catered to a few people out there. I hope if you are pregnant, you know, it's a good pregnancy and that you want the pregnancy and everything turns out well for you. Whatever it is that you want turns out well for you. Oh boy, these, time, these type of things get complicated, don't they? This person is very overwhelmed by something related to fertility crazy. So let's have a look here at the Ten of Staves and the Fertility card. Ten of Staves. All right, the Ten of Staves. And remember, this deck is the lo um, Lover's Path Tarot. And what I look in at the stack when I look at it, it is to see what it is that happened before in this connection that brought the connection downhill. What happened that broke things up? And these decks, uh, there's rather these, this spread that I have, um, I read this in the reverse. So it will be something that you're probably not used to listening to. So it's, it is the opposite. Fertility traditionally is a very wonderful card, but I'll be reading the opposite, the reverse. So we have here the 10 of staffs. This talks about a lack of success and not wanting to create. It talks about success that becomes overwhelming with its responsibilities. And at some point in time, there came a point where this person was feeling very overwhelmed 
and burdened by responsibilities. My God. Whoa. So, pregnancy or fertility can also mean pets, plants, babies. Can also mean you adopting somebody, right? Having a child in your life. Growing in terms of family, going and moving in or bringing in your mom or your mother-in-law, someone who's sick, having them live with you. That is also fertility. That is also abundance, which is creating family. So here, there was supposed to be an increase within the family itself. Or somebody here may have had an argument. I'm allergic to dogs. I don't want a dog. And somebody just doesn't want one because they're allergic. But the other partner, they want one. That's just an example. But it does talk about, because we have pets here too, so it does talk about uh, pets, it talks about plants, there's plants in the back, but also someone who may just be wanting a child. Now, this is for both genders. Could be that there's two women and one of them wants to either um, adopt or actually um, become pregnant. So there's something going on here where it talks a lot about fertility and wanting to move forward. And because of that, your person of interest, Leo, they became extremely, extremely overwhelmed. And the key words here, overwhelmed and burdened by responsibilities. I mean, you can't get more straight than that. Responsibilities, taking care of family, taking care of loved ones, right? For some people, it's a burden. Why? Because they were not prepared for it. And that is exactly why this individual so far, when it comes to moving to the next level in this connection, this person is just not ready. That's why they have not made a choice. And that's why they're at that crossroads. There was no choice being made. It's still in limbo. In the ethers. So let's have a look at fertility. All right. <clears throat> uh huh. Talks about abundance, talks about growth. On a positive note, this talks about ruling over one's life, a new marriage or a special relationship, practical action that manifests as a physical product, children, starting an artistic endeavor, or even wealth, possible pregnancy. Now, Leo, what happened? in the reverse here is deprivation or sterility feeling the lack of material resources limitation that overwhelms ah there you go there you go there's your answer right there feeling the lack of material resources limitations that overwhelm this person that you're dealing with if this, is a, if this is a connection where you wanted to bring the, the connection on a higher level, right? More commitment, more responsibility, things like that. This will probably resonate for many of you. Um, the reason why this person was having a problem is because they were financially not so well. And it was just too much for them to bear way out of their budget. They were not planning on this. They did not know what was going to happen further. They did not know how to handle it. And therefore... They just took a step back. That is why they are overwhelmed. Because here it does say limitations that overwhelmed. They were limited by what? By the lack of material resources that they had. So they might not have been able to afford a stroller. Right? Things like that. Or maybe somebody here wanted to move in with the family. And there's no extra room for that individual. There's a lack of resources. So it could be something like that. But what I do see, there's a whole lot of burdens. Somebody here was unable to take responsibility because of the lack of resources. Let me know if that resonates for a few of you. Because that is so, so specific. It's ridiculous. I haven't done a reading like that before. <clears throat> because the first cards that you had were very interesting as well. <clears throat> Let's have a look. We have here 
the beginner's tarot. So I'm going to have a look at any actions, any plans, any intentions that this person has towards you. Okay. Hmm. Once again, juggling. Not enough time. Energy is scattered. Two of Pentacles. Then we have the Hanged Man. Just waiting around, seeing what happens next. Oh my goodness. Page of Swords. Not having the courage to speak to you or reach out to you. Feeling left out in the cold. But being absolutely sexually attracted to you. You're so irresistible. These cards, they're important, but there's just so much going on in this person's life. Here we have the two of pentacles. This individual is juggling a few things or a few people. And... What's happening is they are unable to, basically what I would say, they're unable to give you their time, energy, and effort as much as you would like to. They're trying their best to juggle whatever is going on in their life, but it's almost as if so much has been put on their plate. They've taken on so many responsibilities that it's hard for them to even finish um, any task things like that. So their energy is really scattered, which means that they cannot focus on you. Here we have the hanged man. They may have reacted in a way in your life, or they may have reached out and then taken a step back at some point. But what I see here is this person is just simply hanging around, not taking much action right now. And they're just seeing how things go. They want to see your reaction when it comes to them maybe not reaching out. I see that here. They're not reaching out much. What are they doing here with the Page of Swords? They're sitting at a distance on the back bench, staring. So this is, for some, this is called the um, stalker, online stalker card. If you do have online profiles, yes, this person may be looking over there. But if you don't, it could simply be that they're asking your friends, your family, um, certain people that, you know, you may know. Um, they may be asking about you. What are you up to these days? How are you doing? So that is something that I am seeing here. This person does this because they lack the confidence. They no longer have the confidence. It's a page, right? This person does not have the confidence to reach out to you and be with you the way that you would like them to. We also have here the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles. Let's just go back for a second. Let me just tell you one more thing about the, uh, the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords looks at it from a distance and makes a plan. And the plan is usually because they don't have the courage to do anything up front. Not yet at the very least. It's almost like reconnaissance. Intel. Gathering intel. This person is trying to see what they can do, what they can find out, and afterwards they're going to work towards, most likely, coming towards you. They're waiting with the Seven of Pentacles here. So beyond that, now let's get back to the Five of Pentacles. So the Five of Pentacles, this person feels very rejected, very neglected, left out in the cold. And for a small portion of you, you may have done this to this person. You may have ignored them. For others of you, this person has put themselves in the situation and they are playing the victim. So whose fault is that? It's not your fault. This is up to that person. They know better. They can either play the victim, or play along and start something. Here we also have Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands, this is you. This person sees you as somebody who is also a very fiery kind of nature. It's hard for them to tame. Ooh, I see something. I see a flame from the ground. Like it's a desert kind of area. It's a dirt area. It's like dry dirt. And there's a fire. And somebody's taking a dark gray cloth. And they're going like this on the fire. They're trying to put out the fire. 
I don't know if that resonates with anybody. Somehow that means something. Uh, well, I guess also just be careful at home or wherever you are. If you're going camping, be very careful. So we have here um, the Queen of Wands. This person feels that you are def definitely very hot and sexy. You have you have this irresistible charm. But what I was seeing with that flame, trying to uh, put out that flame, is this person sees you as having a very fiery kind of nature. And once you either get angry or once you start, it's very difficult for them to change your mind, to stop what it is that you're doing or what you're really passionate about. So this is something about their personality that they also have an issue approaching you. They do find that you're absolutely gorgeous. They find that to some degree you are very intuitive as well. And that is why they're just seeing where this goes. They don't have confidence anymore, Leo. This is really not good for Leo. You know, you want somebody who's confident, but this person right now really has lost their mojo. And then we have here the seven of pentacles under the bottom of the deck, the overall arching theme. Here, it talks about how this person will, they're waiting for something. They'll know it when they see it. There's a harvest. They've put their effort in. They've done the job. And now they're seeing where this goes. Truly, Leo, they are not making much of a move. They are very much stuck in this power, not power, but the feeling of being powerless, feeling overwhelmed. And they don't really know what to do because they feel they cannot do anything. It's a very different situation. Okay. Do I see any action here? Nope. I really don't. I see intention though, but I don't see a whole lot of action coming from this individual. They're really busy on their own. They're busy doing other things. They're just kind of stuck. They don't have much to do. With you, they can't because their energy is already scattered. They're not able to focus on you yet. And they're waiting for the right time to do so. So that means that there will be a time which will be the right time at some point in the future. All right, just going to do a quick prayer. We have here communicate clearly. So these messages are from Archangels Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. Regarding the situation that we've just encountered, it is a pretty complicated situation and it's very frustrating for some of you because I see there's just stagnation. It's like molasses. I'm seeing molasses right now. So slow. <laughs> oh gosh. Eh. Things do not move fast enough. This person is taking a long, long time. For some of you, you might want to just move on from this person. There's no harm doing that at all. Ah, there you go, right there. No harm doing that at all. My God, this is the choice card right there. There you go. Angels have answered. It is okay for you to make a choice. If you want to leave this person, go ahead. Why? There will be success. That's why it's useful. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so we have here communicate clearly when the time comes. This is for both both parties now. Some of you may want to be with this person, and some of you may not. Ultimately, some of you are going to move on, but you're still going to be successful. After you talk and consult with helpful people. People that care about you, your friends, your family, could even be a therapist, a doctor, somebody. Uh, it could also be somebody online. You want to talk to somebody online? maybe even in like um, a forum or something like that or a thread, an email, um, a chat thread. So we have here communicate clearly a lot of things. I'm getting the word misunderstood and misunderstand. So some things in this connection happened that were not very clear. 
So when the time comes, make sure that there is a sense of clarity. Here we also have there's no need to worry. So there is no need to worry when it comes to where, where this connection is headed, where the future lies. We also have here, if you believe. So if you believe, then yes, things will come true. Why? Because you're going to manifest it through the power of belief. Now, not everything can be manifested. If it's owed to you karmically, it will happen. If it's written in your book of life, it will happen. As long as you have, like, no negative energies around you. Because negative energies block all of that from coming into your life. Here we have trust in the divine. And do ask your angels for guidance. You can ask the angels the way I do it. You don't have to follow that, but this is the way I do it and it works. I pray to the Christ consciousness and I request from Christ to go through him to his father, who is the source. And it prefers being in a masculine energy, in a masculine state, although it does have feminine and masculine qualities. Now, it prefers being in the alpha state. I do ask the source. I tell him the issue, tell him the problem, request him to send down Archangels Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. And just a second later, it, energetically they're there, and then you ask them to help you, but you also say that you give them permission to help you. Now, when they do, of course, you say thank you, but we do not worship angels. That's the difference here. We request, they're there to help us as well, but we give them the highest level of respect. They are saying, like I said, this entire situation for some of you has gotten so bad that you just want to leave this person. So some of you are going to have and make that decision, should I move on? Should I be with someone else? Others of you are just going to want to stay here. Both parties here, you will still have success in your life. You will still have success. The overall arching theme here is helpful people. You might even see and meet people that you never knew that truly cared about you. They actually had genuine feelings, good feelings, where they knew that you needed help. Many, many things have changed. This person did not realize that you have other supports near you. And so... For yourself, Leo, just understand that there may be people out there that truly do care for you. You just haven't explored that yet. And by going to people and talking about your problem, this could be one or just two people, they will give you a different perspective, a different idea, because it could be that they've been there, they've done that, they've experienced things. And so you can also learn from other people's experiences. Just be careful, it's not a biased opinion, because some people have really bad relationships, and for them all relationships are bad. Leo, that is your reading. <laughs> that was pretty interesting. Um, yeah, I would just say, take it easy, be careful. If you think this person is way too toxic, then definitely stay away from them. If you think you want to give them a second chance, it's best to consult others first, get the answers intuitively. Do what you feel is right for you, what makes you feel safe, healthy, and happy. Then things should work out. All right, Leo. And that is your reading. I hope I was able to clarify um, any questions or concerns you might have had regarding this particular person. I know it's not a personal reading, but it did almost seem to me as it was very, very personal. Um, it's not a personal reading, but this is a general love reading. I know it's not going to resonate with anybody, and it, not with anybody, with everybody. It's not going to resonate because it's a general love reading. Also, regarding this type of a situation, um, I do have some videos on my other channel, which is Astointia Audio on YouTube. And there's some relationship-related videos as well as some uh, spiritual connection videos. Now... For some of you, if you feel that this kind of resonated when it comes to casual connections, hookups, why doesn't this person commit to me? Why has this person ghosted me? Those type of videos I do have there. 
And as you know, I look into the feelings and emotions of an individual. So I am actually able to tell you what the other person's feeling. And those videos that I've created, that is exactly why I created it because there are so many people out there, my clients, my subscribers, all of you guys, um, people reach out to me and they tell me their stories. I help them. And then I realized, oh my goodness, everybody's going through the same stuff. So everybody has similar stories and it doesn't matter where you're from. So that's why I created those particular um, audio recordings. Hopefully you will find them helpful. All right then. I'll see you again, Leo. Thank you so much for tuning in. Take care. Bye now.